I saw it. I, when I saw it, I laughed because uh, this is the country of anything. Anything goes. Anything can happen. If you check the laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004 or 2008, you won't see that instrument. But they were able to get out something signed, said to have been signed by Abdul Salam Abubakar on 23rd of May, 1999, three days to his departure, called Instrument One, that DSS, the money they spent, that they cannot account for it except to the president. So, assuming that that law is genuine, have they accounted to, General Buhari, to President Buhari? Have they accounted to him? If they have accounted, let them turn in the report of the expenditure. The president can hand it over to EFCC. That yeah, instrument does not law. confer immunity he on anybody. For the of the accounts? Sorry? I mean, you've asked if, the, if they've accounted to the president, but some people will ask, Shouldn't the president call for an account of how they have spent money so far? He doesn't need to call. The, that instrument said that it should be done every year. That same instrument said that it should be done on a yearly basis. So if they have accounted uh, to the president, it's easier. He actually can go and collect it. But in any case, that instrument is something you raise when you go to EFCC. It is not what you raise to stop EFCC from arresting you or from making statements. It is like pleading that you have a right to remain silent. You don't say, I will, you don't come and arrest me because the Constitution say I have a right of silence. If you are arrested, you go to uh, the agency involved, you make your statement, they ask you a question, you say, I wish to remain silent because the Constitution guarantees me that right, right of silence, but not to stay in your house and resist arrest. What is happening is just abuse of office because he has security guards of DSS guiding him. If he's an ordinary uh, Nigerian, he would have been picked. He would make his statement. What have others who have gone there? Go to EFCC office. You see retired generals there making statements with their lawyers. But, you know, the chances are high, sir. Mr. Nkige, if I may come in, the chances are high that he has not asked the uh, people guarding him to resist arrest on his behalf. If indeed there was an understanding amongst the agencies, shouldn't this, you know, be very easy between officials of the e EFCC and the DSS? I agree with you that uh, it appears things fell apart. The center could not hold the Falcon who not hear the far corner. This has fallen apart whereby DSS and EFCC will openly be fighting. It's very unfortunate. It rubbishes the image of this country. That is why the National Security Advisor must sit up because the blame will go squarely to him. He should not allow this thing to be happening. But uh, as you just uh, asked, is it right for the security agencies to assume that he's resisting arrest and uh, therefore reinforce having over 30 officers to stop the EFCC from carrying out its investigation? Well, it's, uh, it's what we read that they came to arrest him, but the operatives or DSS prevented the EFCC. They came with uh, reporters and cameramen. So the question of uh, resistance I don't think he's in doubt. It is for DS, uh, or DSA to say that there was no resistance. And if there was no resistance, then he should go there, go to EFCC and go and make his statement. You know, uh, Magu did say that uh, justice will be served and justice will prevail. But is this the case when you look at the situation of the former NSA, uh, Sambo Dasuki, his case is still in court, and the EFCC wants to go ahead with this one. What guarantee is there that even if the EFCC makes this arrest, it will see the light of day? Well, that one is another conjecture. When you read the bridge, you cross it. Let him go and make his own statement. That's why he should not be afraid. He, he, he has lawyers. Let him go and make his If they charge him, he has 
uh, from what he's saying, he had defense, or he had defenses that I can't account. I only account to Mr. President. And then this is what I've given to Mr. President as part of my account. But to say that he can stay in his house and not uh, be arrested or not be questioned by anybody, I think they're taking it too far. Do you think that the judicial system in the country, for instance, you could cast um, uh, a, a beam on the former NSA's case, uh, Sambo Dasuki, would you say that that has in any way helped, or should I say, hindered people who should go through court processes? Does it take away or erode that confidence that the court system will be able to give them a fair hearing? I don't think uh, there is any problem, uh, you know, with the trial of uh, Sambo Dasuki uh, with respect to confidence of the people on the judiciary. The judiciary is doing his own work. It is that his lawyers are defending him and they are using available techniques well suited for them to hang the case. The case is hanging because of their appeals, there are court orders, and then there's an outright refusal not to participate in the trial by the accused person. So it is for those who are prosecuting him to devise their own uh, strategies. Is this not part of the judicial problem? It's not part of the judicial problem. Part it's, of not part of the judicial no, problem. No, it's, it's not a problem. It's not a judicial Well, that's why the CJN set up a committee to monitor cases criminal matters that are, uh, corruption matters that are pending in all our courts. The, the committee will report to the CJN on their findings on why the matter is not uh, uh, making uh, steady progress. So uh, we, we look forward to getting reports from that committee on the ongoing criminal trials of uh, uh, security, uh, security chiefs uh, in various courts. But Mind you, that is not only the Suki that is facing trial. I have mentioned about uh, the uh, service chiefs uh, from Air Force, from Navy, that are facing trial in court. Their own is going normally. It's only the Suki's own that is being held by uh, disobedience to court orders and so forth and so on. And then multipli multiplicity of cases. There are some in uh, FCT High Court. There are so, some in Federal High Court. So, so at this point, what can the EFCC or what options do they have next? Well, I think uh, what the FCC should do is to report to the president. The president is the commander in chief of the armed forces. If he tells Eta report, he will report immediately. If he say withdraw all those security uh, uh, men guarding him today, in a jiffy they will all be gone. So it is the bulk stops at the president's table. Thank you so much indeed, uh, Mike Ngigi, a legal practitioner, for sharing your thoughts with us this morning. Sunrise Daily will be back after these messages. Join us again.